Okay, uh, some uh, things I learned today. You know, prior I knew this was like piston one, two, three, and four. And then um, there's a stamp right here. Hopefully this will show up on camera. I'll try to study it. And this one says C B C B B. And just note where the the bolt is up here. And uh, what that does for you is you use a chart. That's what the um it, the bearings on the bottom. I don't want to spin it around, but down there. That's the position of the main bearings. There's five main bearings, and I'll show you that here. If you look at your crankshaft, you have five uh, center spots. One, two, three, four, and five. And that's what we're talking about right there. Now, I showed you the code on the block there that tells you how they machine the block. And right here, see if it'll show up, there's stamps. And this one goes to this side, so that's C. Um, then you look for the next center piece, and there's a three right there, and that goes for that one. I might have that backwards, the other one might be a three too. And uh, see what I want to show you here. Yeah, we're using the numbers, not the letters. So see how this one says B? That corresponds to that, we're not doing that at this point. We're doing main bearings. See, and this is where the crankshaft goes because it's not in the center. So then we go to the next one, and it says two, and that goes to the center. Then we skip over, back out a little bit skip over and then we want the next center one in that case sorry I think it says it's a three or something I can't quite see what it says and then you know we skip over one and then we go to this one and the last one looks like oops looks oh, where to go here let me back out I think it says it's a two and that goes to that one so now you know the numbers corresponding to the centered five main bearings. And then again, the block is milled by that stamp over here. And then you use a cross-reference chart and it tells you what color bearings to order. Now for the connection rods, I'm just gonna grab one and show you. So things you're looking for on the piston is it says in, that should be for the intake, and the arrow I'm assuming, oh, it's a little blurry there. The arrow I assume points towards the number one, or the front, and there's where it says N. And if you look down the side here, my machinist, he, was, he looked out, I looked out and he stamped that this came out of cylinder two. I thought that was on there, but he did that for me. But what you wanna see is in the middle, normally it won't be like that, he just did that for me. Can't quite see it, but it, there's this, I think it's a three or two, can't tell through the camera but there's either a three or two stamped on there I think it's a two and see how it splits so that's how you can tell you get the bottom half and the right half together also something to note is I noticed that the like they got little oil passages or something right there and they're offset so you go through each piston like I said he identified which ones went in one two three and four for me but the main deal is if you mix these up it's not too big of a deal I don't think because as long as you look, get the halves matched up, because each one's stamped where it cuts. Let's see if this one's any better. It's stamped, this I think says three. You see how it cuts it. It's just happened to be in piston three. That doesn't have anything to do with it. That's the size bearing. Now, you take those numbers that I showed you. These are numbers on the connection rods. And then you come over here, and now we're talking about the connection rod bearings. And these are letters. So this is going to be, I think that says C goes there. This is a center one, so we're not dealing with it. Go up over to um, an outer one, and there's a B. And you do, you go down the line. You know, there's a center one, so ignore it. Find this one. Get the letter for that. That one's a B. Ignore the center. Get the letter, and that one's a B. Now you have the letters here, like you know. B, A, mostly B's and C's for me on my connection rods, which are the offset ones. And you come over to the pistons and you get the corresponding numbers and you look up at a chart inside your book and it'll tell, excuse me, it'll tell you what um, size bearing to order. And if you did nothing else, if you got, if you made a little chart and didn't know what ones to go, you could take that, you know, you said, hey, I got a piston 
and it's a number uh, a number three, and it's going on to a connection rod B. If you brought that to your um, Honda dealer, he would be able to look it up and tell you what color you need. So, anyhow, so that's what I spent today doing was figuring all that out. I was looking in my, I got my OEM book down there. I was looking in that, checking all that out. Some guys recommended all your orifices. Make sure you clean them out even though it's been hot tank because sometimes they'll have goop in there. I asked my machinist about that. He says they clean that out for me, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, anyhow, so that's where I'm at. Uh, I'm going to go to Honda next. Oh, on the piston rings, I believe there's 75 millimeters. I think I've seen that somewhere. But unless you, they, um, they hone this, you know, to scuff it up. You can see some scuff marks on there for me. That was very inexpensive to have them do it. And, um, but I didn't oversize these, so I'm going to be able to just order standard. I'm going to reuse my pistons and the rods, and I just need to reorder standard size bearings, or not bearings, uh, rings. And uh, you'd only have to change that if you told the machine shop you wanted them to make a bigger bore. And if you did that, it would change your compression. You have to do a whole bunch of doc different calculations to figure it out. This is my first build, so I'm going to keep everything OEM stock as much as possible. Um, just so I don't have to worry about, oh, did I not calculate compression correctly or anything like that. Um, anyway, so that's what I'm off to do now is order my rings, my um, connection rod bearings, and my main bearings. And there's five main bearings and four connection rod bearings, one for each piston. Anyway, so I hope this, uh, this info is making it for me also, but I hope it helps somebody out out there.